What is up, my fellow nerds? Today, I'm super excited to dive back into this, man. Secret Invasion, episode two. This show's got me asking so many questions. I don't even know where to start, man. We we ended it off with Maria Hill dying. They never even used Maria Hill to her full potential. Like, where was the jetpack? I was hoping eventually in, like, Secret Wars or something, we'd get Maria Hill with the jetpack, man, and now she's dead? I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of killing off Maria Hill. I am a fan of the show. I love this show so far. But I'm not a fan of killing off Maria Hill. Shame on you. So without wasting any more time, let's dive right back into Secret Invasion, Episode 2. Don't wait for tomorrow. Nineteen ninety-five. Never occurred to me they would be coming from above. So now we're looking back at Captain Marvel. My people lived as refugees, homeless. Talos. Sorry. And the half oh, of us that are left will be slaughtered next. There are thousands of us separated from each other. This is just the beginning. They won't be safe here. They need a long home. Damn. Diving right back into it, giving us quick flashback of Captain Marvel. 1997. All right, jumping a little bit. Maybe we're getting some of the hidden backstory that we didn't get in Captain Marvel. This is Gravik. Gravik. His parents were killed in the last stand against the Kree. Mm. He escaped from behind enemy lines, piloted a ship. All on his own. He is smart, Fury. Wow. He knows how to survive. He's a child. Only to human eyes. Just talk to him. That's messed up. She wants to make him an agent, sounds like. I want to thank you all for, for joining me. To a huge steaming ball of foreshadowing. But for those of you who braved the journey here to Earth, you did so for one reason. No trust. You know I don't use that word lightly. The world is facing a serious threat, and I could use your help. Thank you, Sorin. Yep. And this is where it all starts. Are we going to see anybody we recognize, though? Because that would be crazy. No. Okay. I was going to say, what if it was somebody we known this whole time? Uh, now we're going to uh, start right back off with Maria's death, dude. Come on. It was hard enough to watch the first time. really cool to see now like where it all originated from that's so no wonder they're pissed because like fury promised to find them a new world and then da 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 avengers happen blah 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 and then end game happens and he takes off just abandons humans abandons scrolls so i see why they're pissed Много вам помочь? Мы ищем одного человека. Чернокожий американец. Видели у кого-нибудь похожего? Чернокожий американец. В поезде Москва-Варшава. Здесь больше шансов встретить инопланетянина. He's with her, isn't he? Nah, that's Taylor's. Okay. You hear anything from Gaia yet? Well, me and my mama used to take these long train rides to Detroit. No 
train travel back then wasn't nowhere near this old. Coming out of Alabama, we always had to ride in the color car. It was hot, sweaty. Bathroom didn't work half the time. And we couldn't go in the dining car. So we brought fried chicken, white bread, deviled eggs, pound <laughs> cake, and a shoebox. <laughs> <laughs> Half hour after the train pulled out, that chicken be gone. Smell way too good to wait. On these long <laughs> rides, me and my mother would make up games to pass the time. Tell me something I don't know. That was one of her favorites. <laughs> one time she said, Tell me something I don't know about you and Susie. Me and Susie had a standing game of doctor we've been playing behind old man jackson's barn suffice it to say i wasn't about to tell her about that me and susie saw a bullfrog with polka dots <laughs> my mama just smiled didn't know i'd lied through my teeth the mere fact that i did that told her everything she needed to know about me and susie oh uh, you want to go a few rounds Sure. Tell me something I don't know about the destruction of Scrubs. Oh, boy. You know everything there is to know about it, period. Name of the game is tell me something I don't know. <laughs> we were overpowered by the Cree. We held them off for as long as we could when we couldn't hold them off any longer. The million of us that were left we fled. Tell me something I don't know about the scrubs that fled. They're here. Who's here? All of us. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You, you're, you're telling me there's a million scrolls walking amongst us right now? Have you lost your reptilian ass mind? I sent out the call, and every scroll that isn't in Emperor George's colony, that's. Ooh. We were being hunted across the universe. I had two choices. I could let my people be annihilated or summon them here to Earth. What would you have done? This ain't about me. Oh, right, but you find using us as your spies and your errand boys, as long as it's on your terms. The host gets to set the terms of our What happens when the host disappears? Oh, huh? shit. Because you were gone. And I didn't think you were coming back. I really didn't. And you know what? Even when you did come back, there was no talking to you about anything real. Your boots barely hit Earth. And oh, it's too heavy here, man. I gotta go up to my space station. You've been up there for years. My hope, my hope is that with your help, Scrolls and humans can coexist here on Earth. Humans can't coexist with each other, Talos. You've been here long enough to know that. We've been at war with each other since we could walk upright. Bro, facts. Facts. We can't even coexist by ourselves, let alone with an alien species. I think this is just a... A million scrolls. Oh my lord. And who's to know how many of them have... swapped sides now? Like, that was way back when. Like, sure, you got your peaceful scrolls that don't want to do harm, but, like, how many of them swapped over to Gravik's side? There could be, like, 600,000, 700,000, bro, of those scrolls that swapped because they, they felt abandoned. And, I mean, Talos has a point. Fury did leave. But Fury also has a point. That's fucked up. <laughs> Just invite your whole freaking race to our planet and not say a word? That's, that's messed up. Elizabeth. Were you there? Elizabeth. Yeah. How did it happen? Happened quickly. Don't you be one of those bastards who gives me a platitude when I'm looking for the truth. That one over there. You know what he told me? He told me that my nation owes me a debt of gratitude. But he won't even tell me where on planet Earth my daughter was killed. 
So apparently facts are not included in the debt I'm owed. She died in Moscow. We were there trying to stop the attack. Someone wanted to hurt me. So they hurt her. So you're the reason I'm taking my daughter back home in a box. I'm sorry I couldn't protect her, Elizabeth. Pinky nose. How did you know Fury would be there? I didn't. But I hoped. Who are we going to meet? You, wait. Uh, yeah, that's not happening. Grab it. I'm not out in an hour. Shoot him in the head. Members of the council. Like the scroll council? Is that what we're talking about here? I see you, all dressed up in the man's finery, drinking the man's wine, playing the man's game. You're using the man's fork and knife. Better to behave as a human than as a dog. Well, I quite like dogs. I quite like dogs. Fact, I prefer. <laughs> dogs aren't hypocrites, and they don't lie. I mean. And they don't go out of their way to degrade and destroy their own habitat. Perhaps we should get on with what we came here for. A prudent suggestion, sister. You murdered over 2,000 innocent humans. Holy children. shit. And yet you don't seem remotely remorseful. Oh, they were all part of the original group. I mean, humans themselves don't have the ability to comprehend that yet, bro. Like, you're, you're an alien race that can shapeshift. If you weren't blowing shit up and you were being more diplomatic. And what happens if the Avengers return? You don't think I thought about that? I don't think it's going to work as well as you think there, Ravik. Well, Madam Prime Minister. We need to streamline our chain of command. Democracy is fine for peacetime, but whilst at war, we need a single commander whose war power is total and unchecked. My God. Therefore, I nominate Gravik to the post of Skrull General. All those in favor of Gravik as our new general will submit. I fear each one of you has forgotten our history. We did not end up homeless refugees because we were unwilling to wage war. We ended up homeless refugees because we were too willing. I will not support your war. And I do not submit. You go in peace, sister. You'll not be harmed. That's bullshit. You're gonna die as soon as you get out of that room, lady. And yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It's Gravik. The council just voted him general. He said if a mate between me and Gravik, public place. Thanos, he will kill you. Just tell him I want to talk about my daughter. This is not good, man. This is not good at all. Everybody's so excited. Me, on the other hand, I am not. Kravik is a maniac. And this guy, I don't like this guy. Nobody noticed her follow him. You don't have it. Harvest wasn't there. Gravik has given me multiple locations for the harvest, all of them empty. What is she building? 
If I was just making a guess, I'd say it almost looks kind of like a quantum tunnel? No. I mean, obviously not. It's totally different technology, I guess. Colonel, are you denying that two of your citizens, uh, Mr. Nicolas Fury and Miss Maria Hill, were present in Moscow at the scene of the attacks? We are aware of allegations that Mr. Fury and Ms. Hill may have traveled to Moscow, which if true, at any rate, would have been in their capacity as private citizens. <laughs> Respectfully, Prime Minister, I can't take the authenticity of Russian supplied photos at face value. Slovakia rolls its eyes at me one more time, I'm gonna put on the suit and carpet bomb it. Well, I'm here as a courtesy, Madam Prime Minister. President Ritson has a pretty busy day job burning the most powerful country and military on the face of the planet. He doesn't just hop to when summoned. Not by France, not by Italy, not by the UK. I'm afraid sensitivity is all you're going to be getting from us. Well said. Rhodes. Nice suit, Armani. <sighs> Rioni. We need to meet ASAP. Great. Tell you what, let me just finish mopping up this globe-sized bucket of steaming hot caca you tipped over yesterday morning. <laughs> you sound frustrated. What's the matter? Croatia talking crap? Slovakia. Slovakia. Under bomb near ass. Burner's Tavern, one o'clock. Do me a favor and try not to pop off a nuclear holocaust before you get there. Uh. <laughs> the quips are good in this show, man. I'm this close to handing your ass over to the Russians. So getting your rank here, Colonel Rhodes? You do not want to be playing mine as bigger than yours with job titles right now, Fury. I was there trying to stop the attack. Oh, well, excellent job at that, by the way. 2,000 dead so far. Oh, shit. Bang, bang, bang. See those shots fired? Yikes. How well do you know your security details? I know they're catching bullets first if I get shot at. Quick editor's note. I'm noticing while I'm editing this that Rhodes is highly suspicious on my scroll radar. I don't know if it's just that we haven't had a good shot of it, but like Rhodes is paralyzed. Right? Like he should still have the leg harnesses on. And like in the previous Avengers movies, he wore his harnesses over his leg. Oh, over his legs, bro. <laughs> Wore them harnesses over his legs, you know what I'm saying? He always wore the harnesses over his pants. I mean, I guess, like, I... I get a business suit, you wouldn't want to put a harness over your pants, but I guess I always assumed they were over his pants because he had to. But I don't know. Other than just the whole paralyzed thing, his attitude isn't quite... At the same level that Rhodes normally is, you know, he seems more aggressive, less caring. Like the man just said, his bodyguards would will take a bullet for him, but like the Rhodes we know would take a bullet for his bodyguard kind of deal, you know. But all right, let's get back to this reaction. What do you mean? How much do I know about him? What if I told you they were all spies? Spies for who? The Russians? Hydra? Yeah, if Hydra was a bunch of green guys who could shapeshift into your daddy. So how long have you known about them? About 15 years ago, mm. I was part of an eyes-only top secret. Rhodes already knew? Alien species that had sent a few of its light ships crashing down to Earth. The Pentagon was concerned that they might get into their heads to uh, invade us one day from the inside. That invasion? is real maybe we should call our friends no 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 no. we can't jump the gun on that you know we get them in a fight with the scrolls and next thing you know they find themselves duplicated and turned into terrorists because the scrolls would then be able to copy the avengers and then they could literally turn the avengers into bigger targets than they already are you know because after like civil war or whatever you know they're trying to get everybody under the scope of accords Gravit could literally undo everything that they've built if the Avengers were here because they could take the form of Avengers and do things like totally despicable. Oh, I don't know why I didn't think about that. It's crazy. You're right. I should have said, I'm not doing it. 
I just spent all the political capital I had in getting Maria Hill's body back from the Russians. We owe each other. Men who look like us don't get promoted because of who our daddies know. These men are going to escort you outside, then you're going to the airport. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know I had travel plans. But you should know better than most. The reason we wrestled this power from mediocre men who don't look like us was not simply to turn around and hand it to mediocre men who do. To be able to sit across from a man we greatly admire and to tell him without any reservation that he's fired. That's what this moment right here right now is about me. Nobody sent me. I volunteered. And not to put too fine a point on this, but that mess that you created in Moscow that resulted in getting one of our best people murdered, you earned all this smoke, brother. Are you seriously under the impression that just because you stripped me of my titles, I relinquished my DNA? Careful, Fury. I'm Nick Fury. I'm never out. Even when I'm out, I'm in. Yes, and now that the door is unlocked, what does that tell you about me indoors? This is my Captain Mochon. Where is your safe house? Chris! Didn't your mother ever warn you you could lose an eye by beating your meat like that? <laughs> what are you doing in here? Oh, I'm taking over. Yeah, hello. Oh, so the big strong men are going to leave this woman here with a scroll? Doesn't say the words. What makes you think you can get him to speak? Oh, I can be quite persuasive. Smacks him on the head with a freaking hits him with a denozo. Now, shall we do this the easy way or the other way? I'm gonna break these chains and then I'm gonna break every bone in your body. <laughs> the other way it is. <sighs> mm. Well, now that's confirmed. Now that's confirmed. <laughs> Editor Zach here, and I very disappointed in myself for not seeing this while I was watching it. But these guys are literally making super scrolls. They're literally trying to make super scrolls. They have different DNAs. Like, that's what she was just looking at at the computer there. And, like, this lady is building a machine that's supposed to make scrolls stronger... Bro, they're making super scrolls. Like, I should have known that. Like, I should have caught on to that. Like, while I was watching the show, I can't believe it just went right up over my head. Look at me. Totally oblivious to what's going on in front of me. All right, guys. Back to the video. What are you doing in there? Checking the progress of our newest recruit. He'll be ready for a face before long. He's loyal. Loyal. You know, I remember when you first came to me, guy. He knows. He knows. I thought to myself, what kind of coward sends his daughter to do what he wouldn't? But, you know, then I realized that kind of coward just doesn't have it in him. You're wasting your time. I'll never talk to you. Well, that's very brave. But everyone talks when their blood starts to cook at 160 degrees centigrade. Okay. Yeah, not the arm, buddy. Sorry, you get it in the good old poop shoot. My God. Literally boiling his blood. He's building a machine. What kind of machine? I think it's to make us stronger. I'm terribly sorry, but if I don't get a name, Graphic won't get the chance to kill you. Sounds like your lift is here. Listen, I'm just going to go and check where I'm back. Oh, cool. I'll come with. No, 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 no. You stay here. They might come out with Brogan. 
Ow, that guy got hung on a meat hook, bro. She. I got him. Let's go. What you tell him? Nothing, just lies. Nothing. Just lies. That's all I swear. It's gonna kill him. Take him to the car. Oh, okay. I don't know, man. This guy gives off like super maniac vibes. Keep driving. safe house this is a very backwoods you're about to get shot kind of situation did we make it home Peyton? almost there bro yep knew that was coming he's like Bitch, you better get your mind right. That's gonna be you. Alright, Fury, where are you going? Yo, whose house is this? Oh. This was the scroll that was being nice to Gravik in the beginning. I, I think. Pretty sure. It's a really nice house. Aren't you forgetting something? Fury's married to a scroll? Whoa. Okay. I thought I was confused last episode. One cliffhanger after another. So, Nick Fury is married to the scroll that stuck up for Gravik in the beginning. So she didn't hold a grudge against him. That's good. But like, I want to know how long they've been married. Damn, so a really another fire episode. A lot to unpack there. So the guy we saw in the first episode that took over the American soldier's identity. Helped with the bombing. He got captured. Got interrogated by a bunch of Russians. Didn't say a word. Then Little Miss England comes in and injects him with some blood boil serum. He reveals everything. Gravik finds out. Gravik knew from the beginning, man. He was like, alright, this guy's been tortured to hell. And he is still alive. So he obviously gave information. Brings him out. Kills him. Gives Gaia that nasty look, bro. This is what happens. You better not be fucking with me. And Fury is rightfully pissed that Talos brought his entire species to planet Earth. And like Fury is rightfully angry at Talos for bringing all the scrolls to Earth. But Talos and the scrolls also didn't have anywhere else to run. The only thing I think that like could have been done differently in Talos' side was he could have told Fury. Could have, you know, gone back to him. But, at the same point, Fury already told him way back in 95 that he was going to help him. And nothing had been done yet, so I guess I could kind of see why Talos didn't go to him and be like, Hey, you know, we're just going to come to Earth because you haven't helped us at all. You abandoned us, as a matter of fact. Which is sad. You know, like an entire species that is homeless. This whole show, man, there's a lot of shade being thrown at Fury. And like even Rhodes. Rhodes caught me off guard. I thought like Rhodes was going to come in and be the level-headed one with Fury. And like be like, help him. 
but he straight up fired his ass. He's like, nah, you're fired, bro. Like, you've caused a huge problem. Man, what a crazy episode. Well, I'm so excited to continue next week with the next episode. This has been episode two of Secret Invasion. This show has been insane. And definitely up there in my favorites. It's got like me question reality and like our own life now. Are you a scroll? Maybe I'm a scroll. Alrighty, guys. This has been Secret Invasion episode two. Until the next episode, I'm your friendly neighborhood nerd, Zach. And I'm signing off. Peace out. Don't wait for tomorrow.